one of those kind of shots can Crawford take that shot. But then again, I don't know if Crawford will fight Canelo the same because he was kind of like right there, sort of like face face off in, with um, Madrimov, right? Where I think maybe with Canelo, he would set traps and be more on his back foot, backing up to make Canelo apply the pressure. And maybe that would create some openness for him. But like, I mean, I favor Canelo a lot in that fight. Mentally, provided that, that, provided fight. that he wins... Uh, uh, Canelo come against Berlanga September 14th and now seeing uh, Crawford's performance if you had to choose what would be I guess quote unquote the easier fight the Crawford fight or the Benavides fight for next year for Canelo well if Canelo is able to get past yeah. Berlanga I think the fight that makes sense for him would be Crawford just because you know they're offering him I don't know what the figures are but I'm I'm, I'm sure it's, it's really big um, so I think that fight would make sense and then I think when it comes down to it um, you know, Benavides would be the, the send off. I, you know, I want to counter that. They, you know, can you look at the saying? He said, but I don't win nothing in a fight. If I beat him, they're going to say I was supposed to beat him because he's a smaller guy. If I lose to him, they're going to be like, how could you lose to Crawford? So, I mean, that's the counter one on that, no, on that argument. That's true. But on a business standpoint, money talk. So, yeah. What does it do for his legacy? I don't think it really does anything for his legacy. If he wins, he's supposed to win. If he loses, he's also a smaller guy. But at the end of the day, if they're offering you with pay-per-view and you're getting 100 mil, then it's like, it's hard to turn that down. Last one for me, last one for me, Ryo and uh, Pitbull Cruz. What do yeah. you think about the outcome? Oh, I'm, I'm happy for Ryo, man. Ryo, yeah. Ryo box good. Um, I, I was watching the fight on and off. There's a lot going on in the event, but yeah. he boxed really good, man. I'm happy he won the fight. I was I was going for him. Yeah, you yeah. moved up and faced one of the biggest punchers when you were at uh, number one contender at 54. Moved up and faced Triple G at 160. Yeah. What are some of the difficulties? Like that's one division. This would be three divisions for Crawford. What are some of the difficulties going up and wait? All right, man. No, man. It's just what I mean. Just holding the weight. You know what I mean? And 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 being able to take the shots, man. The shots are bigger. Bigger shots, man. But um, but you know, Crawford, he he's, he's he's got good defense, and you know he's crafty, man. So he he knows how to absorb the, the shots. Are we? Are you looking to get yourself back in the ring? You know, a lot of fans are hoping. I'm chilling to get right back. now. I'm chilling. I'm Just chilling. Just chill, relaxing. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. All right. Danny, no, man. I think I think he has to just set traps. Jab. Danny know what he's doing, man. He, he's a, he got a great boxing mind. He got a great trainer in his bag. He got a good team. You know, it's, it's going to be a fight of, it's going to come down to will. You know what I'm saying? But I think just pick, pick your spots wisely. That's it. Um, do you, from watching Canelo in his last few fights, do you think, do you set any good fight at all? No, nah, man. I think, I think he looked pretty good in his last fight, man. I think, I think he'll be all right. All right, thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.